I know, I know. I probably could have just bought something like this. Maybe an adapter, or, I don't know, thicker weed eater string? But my engineering side really wanted to put into practice what I've been working with for the past year. For the new viewers out there, this is Virtual Foundry's copper filament, and it's 90% metal by weight. The part I'm cleaning up here is a brush cutter that I designed for my electric weed eater. At the time, there were no brush cutter attachments that I could find on Amazon. This part is what people in the industry refer to as a green part, meaning that it has not been centered yet and is still partially plastic. But plastic can still slice your thumb, which I may or may not have just done. To prepare the piece, I've whipped up a little bit of this zinc putty, which I'm going to use to lather on, kind of like soap. But instead of soap, it's filled with zinc, and when it goes through the centering process, it should infiltrate and produce a more solid, less porous piece. Less porous being good in my situation. Sometimes that's actually not desired, but when you're slinging around a metal blade on a weed eater, you probably want the densest piece that you can get. Right now I'm not even certain densest is a word, but I know that I want a solid part. So anyway, I'm going to cover this with refractory, which supports the metal piece, and then cover this with some carbon. During sintering, carbon is very useful for scavenging oxygen, which is very bad uh, because it prevents the sintering process for coppers and irons and really a lot of other metals. Lastly, we just run this through a debind and center phase. Uh, sometimes I do this in one part and sometimes I do it in two, but uh, either way, it's important to have proper ventilation and tools uh, like gloves and uh, things to handle this with. And sorry for those of you expecting a completely finished piece in this video, this is more of a incremental update and uh, the part actually failed, but I decided to give it another go and when I did I ran out of filament and swapped out with Pyrex and copper to see what would happen. Uh, it was pretty interesting actually, um, even though that failed too, but we did get a very neat glaze and uh, almost green color. I know it's been a while since my last video, but I hope to pick this project up again soon. In the meantime, cheers.